Hello Beachwood, Miss Gates here, wishing you a wonderful, happy, fun, healthy, and safe summer. I want you to go out there and have a fun summer, but I also want you to think about how can you make yourself better? I want you to think of and write down two ways, your two special ways that you can make yourself better this summer. Write them down, look at them every day and ask yourself, am I making myself better? Because it is such a good feeling when not only you're having fun, but you're also making yourself better at the same time. All right, enjoy, have a great summer. We look forward to seeing you next year. Hey everyone, it's Miss Debbie. This year has been an exciting year full of surprises. And even though we're not ending the year all together, we still made some great memories this year. Learning new things, making new friends, special events like musicals and band concerts and dances and parties, joke Wednesdays, and even Google Classroom and learning from home. Whatever you do this summer, make some new memories with your family and friends. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great summer. Yay, students, we made it. This is Mrs. Baker here. We made it to the end of the 19 slash 20 school year. I just want to say that my fondest memory of this year has to be my fifth grade musical. Hearing their voices just made my heart smile. So that's my memory. Have a good summer. Beachwood, can't believe the year is ending. Miss you all and I hope you have a fun and safe summer. Can't wait to see you in August. Hey Beachwood, it's Pride Moore here. I miss all of you and I cannot wait to get to see you again. Um, but summer is coming and I hope you guys enjoy yourself so, so much as, as, we, as much as we can. Um, hopefully you can get creative and find some things to do and stay active a little bit more than um, these guys next to me are. So take care Beachwood, love you all and see you when I see ya. Hello, Miss B here. I wanted to say hi to everybody, tell everybody how much I'm missing them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm seeing these things flying everywhere. Can you see them? Oh my goodness, there's little lizards. Anyways, I wanted to tell everybody how much I miss you. I miss seeing everybody's smiling face. I know right before we left school, we had that awesome pep rally and everybody was so pumped and ready to go for the year and taking tests. Hopefully things will be back to normal soon. Please stay safe, stay active if you can, and make sure you're helping your parents out. Wishing you a beautiful summer and let me know if you need anything. You know you can always email me. All right, bye y'all. Hey Beachwood. I just want to say I'm super excited for this summer as I know that you are. You all have worked so hard and your teachers and everybody at Beachwood is so proud of you. So please enjoy your summer and we will see you in the fall. Fifth graders, I just want you to know we are so, so proud of you and you guys are going to do an amazing job in middle school. So have a good summer, you guys. Hi Beachwood, it's Mrs. Himes. I can't believe it's already the end of the school year. Um, this year was filled with so many amazing memories. I think my favorite memory was going on the fifth grade field trip to Biztown. It was really awesome to see all of the fifth graders perform their jobs and run a smooth town. Um, I hope all of you have a great summer. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I can't wait to see all of you hopefully in the fall. Hey Beachwood, I miss you guys all like crazy. Um, I'm sad we couldn't end out the year together, but I hope you have a great summer and I can't wait to see you again in the fall. Bye. Campbell, and I just wanted to send you a little farewell message. Um, thank you for a wonderful year. I have loved getting to know all of you and seeing all your smiling faces and the hugs and the little emails I get now with our home learning. And um, But there are some things I really liked. I loved the sunny day dance party. I loved when the zoo came to visit. Um, I thought it was a riot when Ms. DePetra, Ms. Kinder, and Ms. Schwager surprised us as our cheerleaders at the pep rally. But my favorite thing of all was going to Biztown with the fifth graders. Um, I hope you have a great summer. You are all safe and healthy and get to enjoy your family in the outdoors. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Hey there, Beachwood students and families. I hope you guys are finding new ways to stay busy and creative during this time. 
I miss you guys very, very much, and I'm so sorry and sad that we can't be there in person to say goodbye and to have a great summer. Um, I wish you guys all the best. I hope you guys have a wonderful summer. Fifth graders, um, come back and visit next year as much as possible. I miss your faces. Um, I wish you guys all the best, and I miss you, and I will see you next year. Hi kids, this is Mrs. Hyatt. I just wanted to wish you the best summer ever. I know there are lots of fun things you've got planned and uh, just a little rest from school. You know, and I'm gonna be gardening and playing with the dogs, so I miss you. I can't wait to see how much taller you are when you get back in the fall. And um, I'll see you then. Love y'all, bye. Hi guys. This is Ashwell. Have a good summer. We'll miss you and we'll see you next year. Good afternoon, Beachwood. I want to say farewell for the summer. I hope you all have a great one. I really enjoyed this year in this new position. I've liked seeing all the kindness that everyone has shown, um, all the different projects that we've done. It sure did help me get through this time, thinking of all that. Um, have a great summer and we'll hopefully see you next year. Hey everyone, um, Ms. McRae here. I just wanted to say have an awesome summer and I challenge you to get outside and play as much as you possibly can. Thank you for making my first year at Beachwood so special. I'll never forget it. And I can't wait to see everyone in the fall. Have a great summer. I just wanna say everybody have a great summer. Um, I'm going to miss all you. And then when we are all back to normal and back in our classroom, I want my class to come see me. I look forward to having some of you fourth graders next year. We're going to have so much fun, no matter where we are, what we're doing. But you guys have a great summer. Enjoy your time. Have some fun. Oh, wait. Forgot some little pie there. My class, you know what I'm talking about. Miss you. Love you. Hey, Beachwood kids. I hope you have an awesome summer, and I can't wait to see you in the fall. Hi, Beachwood Bulldogs. Mrs. Carson here. I just wanted to say hello, and we finally made it to the end of the school year. Who would have thought we would have ended like this? But I hope everybody is safe and healthy, and I will definitely miss those smile and hu smiles and hugs from the kids coming down the hallway and the kids in my classroom. I hope everybody has such a safe and fun summer, and we'll see you next year. Bye. Only marks, get set, go! It's Miss Trailer. You probably thought I forgot, but I didn't. I have a new name, Finger Talk. F-I-N-G-E-R-T-A-L-K. Look me up this summer. But in the meanwhile, make sure you go outside, have fun, and enjoy. Love, Miss Trailer. Hi, guys. This is Mrs. Durbin and Jane. We just wanted to wish you all a happy summer. Enjoy the outside, and don't forget to read. Bye. Bye. See you next year. See you next year. Hi, kids. It's Miss Hardy here. It's the end of the school year. Yeah, I know you guys are all looking forward to the summer, but please be safe, be healthy. And continue to read books at least three times a week. And keep up on your math flashcards. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys all in the fall. Wishing you the best from my family to yours. Again, stay safe, stay healthy, and miss you all. Bye. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to wish everybody a great summer. We made it through this strange uh school year that we've had and I've really enjoyed my time with everyone. I miss all of my students terribly, um, but I really hope that you guys can have a great summer and uh, we'll see you in the fall. Hi Beachwood students, congrats on making it to the end of the year and have a great summer. Well, I'll see you next year. Bye. Hi Beachwood, hi third graders. I just wanted to tell you my favorite thing we did this year was making slime. I love seeing your guys' faces when you see the reaction the slime has. And I just want to tell you how much I miss you. The one thing I will miss the most is getting your hugs and seeing your smiles. And I hope you have a wonderful summer and that you get to go outside and play and that the weather is awesome for you. Have a great summer. 
Hey Beachwood, hi boys and girls. I just wanted to wish you all a safe and happy summer to all my fifth graders. Great job this year. Um, I'm so proud of you, especially when we went to BizTown and you guys did a, such a great job um, acting like an adult and running a business. You represented Beachwood so well. Um, have a safe and wonderful summer and to my fifth graders, good luck at Rosemore. Have a great summer. Hey guys, Mr. Johnson here. Just want to wish all my Beachwood students and friends a happy summer. Um, I'm going to miss you guys for sure. And uh, one of the things I will miss, you know, from the school year that we've had, even though it might have been a little different towards the end and not ideal, but um, I still will always remember the uh, fourth grade musical that I had. And uh, just seeing my, my class um, and other fourth grade students that I know and love, um, just really like, uh, really putting on an excellent show and great memories. Uh, but I always remember memories in the classroom, just um, giving fist bumps and just saying good morning to uh, to all my friends and students. And I will continue missing that. And I can't wait to see you guys all next year, hopefully as fifth graders and everyone else I'm seeing um, coming into as a fourth grader as well. Uh, but all in all, have a great summer. Um, do something that maybe help and brighten someone's day. Even you know, put a smile on your face and uh, you know, smile at someone. It can really change their lives, guys. So um, all in all. Have a great summer, stay safe, and I will see you guys soon. Hi guys, congratulations. We made it to the end of the school year. It was a crazy one, but we did it. I hope you have a great summer. Enjoy all the time with your friends and family. Be safe, and I can't wait to see you in the fall. Bye. Hi, this is Mr. Reynolds. Just want to share a few memories from the year uh, with math. Um, when you guys all pretty much got the concepts when you thought they were difficult and you started to understand them. With science, um, I liked your expressions, your reactions when we did the penny experiment with the hot sauce and the balloon that inflated on the bottle. Those were really fun to watch your, um, your expressions. So I really miss all of you and have a great, great summer. All right, bye. Hi, Beachwood family. It is finally the end of the year. Nobody imagined that we would be leaving school like this. I want you to know that even though I can't hug every single one of you, I want you to know that I still love you. I want you to have a fantastic, excellent summer, even if that means you don't get to go on the vacation that you wanted to go on or you don't get to go to Zumbizi Bay. I hope that you can make the most of it, spend time with your family, enjoy yourself, Go outside and play a little bit, but stay six feet apart. Email me, keep in touch. Um, let me know all of the fun things that you're doing. I will write back to you. It is, my email is A-P-E-L-L -L at WCSRams.org. I can't wait to hear from you and I hope you have a wonderful summer. I love you all, bye. Hey Beachwood, happy summer, you did it. You finished the school year and it is time to enjoy the summer now. Um, I'm here at school cleaning my classroom out and thinking so much about how this place is not the same without you. I miss you. We miss all the hugs, the high fives, and your smiles every day. Can't wait till we can all be here together again. But until then, know that we're thinking about you. We miss you. Have an amazing summer. Happy summer, Beachwood kids. We finally made it to the end. Who would have ever imagined that this is the way we would have ended this school year when we set out back in August. I'm really thankful for the performances we had this year. They were very memorable in their own separate ways. Um, I especially loved squilting with you. That was something new that we did and I look forward to doing more of that next year. Um, I wanna say a thank you, especially to the Safety Patrol students who worked really hard this year. We didn't get to quite celebrate you at the end the way that we normally would have, but we are really proud of you and thankful for all of your hard work this year. To the rest of you, I hope that you have a safe and healthy summer, and I look forward to seeing you in the fall, whether you're students at Beachwood or you're off at Rosemore. I can't wait to see you again someday. I miss you and I love you. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Seven, and I hope you have the best summer ever. I miss all of your smiling faces, and I can't wait to see you in the fall. This text is coming to you from my classroom for the very last time because I'm retiring this year. If anyone had told me I was going to end the year with a broken ankle and not having kids for a couple months, I wouldn't have believed them. I want you all to have a safe summer. Be good, be safe, 
Make sure that you keep working hard and being lifelong learners and pursuing your goals. I love you and I'm going to miss you. Goodbye. Congrats, Sharon, on Teacher of the Year and your retirement from Beechwood. I've really enjoyed teaching with you over the years, um, especially at both the old and the new Beechwood. Um, you'll really be missed. Um, great second grade teacher, we're really going to miss you a lot. Um, what, what am I going to do on Friday nights when no one else is at the school except you and I? Who will I talk to? You may just have to stop by and keep me company. Hey, have a great summer and um, enjoy your retirement and all those stress-free days to come. Congratulations again. Hi, Sharon. I can't believe this is the end. Never in your wildest dreams of all of your years about thinking about retirement did this ever cross your mind that we would be celebrating this way. Um, but I did want to leave you with a few words and tell you how thankful I am for everything that you have done for me since we've been at Beechwood. I am so thankful that I got to be on the team with you. I am so thankful that we got to be neighbors for the past couple of years. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you have done for me and all of the support that you have given me. I wish you the best of luck in the future. I hope you get to sleep in. I hope you get to go out for breakfast whenever you want to, go pee whenever you want to, spend an hour eating lunch if you want to, enjoy all of those things. You no longer have to do a little dance and say this is your last. You now can do a little dance and say this is your first of retirement. I might be a little bit jealous. I hope to hear all about your fun adventures. Bye. Congratulations, Sharon, and enjoy your retirement. We'll all miss you at Beechwood. Hi, Sharon. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. I know I haven't known you that long, but you've always been so supportive, even since I student taught at Beechwood a few years ago with Carrie. And you were always willing to help, and you still are so willing to always help with anything and everything and with anybody. So I thank you for all the support you've always given me. And I hope you have a wonderful retirement, and I just wanted to say congratulations. Sharon, congratulations on your retirement and getting Educator of the Year. Beachwood is definitely going to miss you. Again, congratulations and enjoy that retirement. This video is for Sharon, Tessie. Um, Sharon, we're really going to miss you here. I am especially. You have been nothing but welcoming to me, and you never gave up. You always worked so hard through this being your retirement year. No one would have ever imagined you were retiring this year. Um, wish you the best and we'll miss you lots. Hi, Sharon. Congratulations on retiring. I loved being on your team. I'm sorry the year didn't end how you wanted it to, but we're so happy for you and we're so happy that you are done. And I hope you celebrate all summer long. Come back and see us anytime. Sharon, congratulations. We're all so jealous of you, but so happy for you. I'm sorry your last year had to end this way. Um, I'm sure you didn't plan it that way, but it'll be one to remember. Um, I hope you have a great summer and I hope retirement treats you well and gives you lots of time to scrapbook. Hi, Sharon. This is Latasha. I want to say thank you for showing me what a crafty teacher looks like. And second, most important, thank you for introducing me to Not Your Mama's Banana Pudding. It is my favorite dessert and I love it. Thank you for hooking me to that. Hi, Sharon. I just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. I know we didn't get to work together much this year, um, but what little bit we got to work together, it was a pleasure working with you and I hope you enjoy your retirement. Hi. Just a quick congratulations to uh, Miss Tessie. I wanted to tell you that you will be greatly missed and I know you've made a lot of difference in many kids and families lives in Whitehall. Um, I've always admired the way you 
handle your professional and your personal life. You are an extremely strong woman. Um, and I hope now in your retirement, you can relax and just enjoy life a little bit. Congratulations. Hi, Sharon. I just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement and your teacher of the year. I wish you the best of luck in the future. Hi, Mrs. Tessie. Congratulations on your retirement. Um, I will think about you every time I am at Tim Hortons drinking my coffee or every time I see a hedgehog. I can't wait to see you soon and hear all about how retirement is. Have a great summer. Sharon, Mrs. Tessie, never just Tessie. Congratulations on retirement and educator of the year. You deserve both so much, especially the retirement. Who would have thought that your last year would end like this? So much going on with your health, with your leg, foot, and distance learning. We will miss you on our team so much next year, but I hope you can relax and enjoy this time that you have earned so, so much. Your kids will miss you. They'll miss seeing their Mrs. Tessie and we'll miss having you on our second grade team. Um, but I hope you have a really good summer and enjoy your time off. And um, hopefully we'll see you around. We love you. Bye. Hey, Miss Tessie, this is Miss Trailer. I just want to take a moment to tell you YOLO. Enjoy each day like it's the first day of the next chapter in your life because you only live once. Congratulations, lady. Enjoy. Hi, Sharon. This is Judy. Just wanted to wish you all the best. You deserve it. You've been through a lot. You've persevered. You've taught lots of kids. And you know what? You should be proud of yourself for everything that you've accomplished in this life. I'm so happy for you for retirement. I hope you do a lot of fun things. And I'm going to miss you an awful lot. Hey Sharon, um, just wanted to say congratulations on retirement. I'm so excited for you. Um, thank you for sharing your stories with me about all of your experiences whenever you'd come in my room and watch my kids. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your second grade donations to me. I can't wait to watch the kids use your things and I can't wait to use them myself. So enjoy retirement Sharon, it was such a pleasure to meet you. Hi Sharon, I wanted to congratulate you on your Educator of the Year Award and your retirement. You certainly went out with a bang in more ways than one. Um, your presence will definitely be missed when we return back to Beechwood in the fall. Um, I've worked with you for my entire teaching career at Beechwood and um, we will definitely miss having you there. I know that it's not the end of the road. I know that we will see you at birthday parties and all of the fun celebrations that we still have in our future. Um, we just won't see you walking the halls of Beechwood. So um, I wish you the best this summer. I hope that you heal fast that, so that you can enjoy it a little bit. And like I said, I can't wait to celebrate you whenever we have the opportunity to be together again. Hi Sharon, congratulations. I am so excited about your retirement and this next chapter for you. I wish you nothing but the very best. You are one of the kindest people I know in the world. Um, you would do anything for anyone and your students would know that every year. Um, I just think the way you went out this year is amazing. I admire you so much. You just did so many new things, fun things. You were just an amazing teacher until the very end. I can only hope I'm half the teacher you are. Um, when I first got to Beachwood, you welcomed me with open arms and you are just, a bright shining light every day. You will greatly be missed, but I'm excited for your new adventures and all the fun things ahead for you. So I love you and I miss you and I hope we stay in touch forever. Hi Sharon, congratulations on retirement and being educator of the year. And I really appreciate you giving me your box top monster. I will take great care of it. Again, happy retirement. Bye. This is Tessie on retirement and being teacher of the year. You have been such a dedicated and wonderful member of Whitehall City Schools. I don't know what they're gonna do without you. We're really, truly gonna miss you. I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Take care. Sharon, I wanna thank you. I have been truly blessed to have you as a friend, a coworker, working beside you with your expertise, helping me since the day I've been there. You have been nothing but supportive towards me and my students. 
um, very helpful, kind, and loving. I couldn't imagine having a better coworker than you. I am truly going to miss you. So please enjoy your retirement. You have totally have deserved this. Um, but on the same thing, Beachwood does not be the same without you. So thank you. Hey, Sharon, it's Aaron. Um, man, it's uh, what an accomplishment. I just uh, want to say that, you know, I want to give you all my respect and um, uh, just my congratulations on a huge achievement uh, from one educator to another. Um, I hope, uh, I'm sure it's a, an emotional roller coaster, probably not the, the last year that you thought you were going to have, but uh, all in all, um, I just hope you know that you did leave a mark um, on Beachwood. Um, in the second grade, just the whole building, um, including me too, just to, um, just, you know, passing by, just having those small conversations in the hallway that uh, maybe for you, it's just a, a small talk, but for you, it didn't, you know, kind of help shape my day. And, uh, you know, I just always appreciated having those moments with you. Um, and I hope you know, like I said, that uh, you did leave a mark. Um, you did leave an impact on uh, on the kids and the students, maybe students you didn't even, didn't even have and families and um, your mission at Beachwood may be done, but your mission to impact and change lives, uh, it's an ongoing journey that I, I believe it just never ends. And uh, it may be a different uh, role or a different uh, um, path, but it's leading you down the same road and doing things that you love. And I'm excited for um, what you have going on in the next, few, in the next year and, uh, and beyond. And uh, I just hope that uh, you, know, you continue shining your light no matter where you're at. And um, hope to see you maybe down the road. Uh, if not, though, definitely understand that, too. Uh, but congratulations on a huge achievement on uh, um, your retirement from education, but a new chapter in what you're going to be doing going forward. So um, maybe I'll see you soon. But in all in all, God bless and uh, take care. Hi, Sharon. Can't believe this day is finally here. It seems like it was going to be so far away when you decided to start that countdown and you showed it to us every Friday at our staff meetings. So what will I miss the most about you? I can't even begin to imagine. I do know that I will miss somebody helping me get into my room when I can't find my keys because I've gone to open my door and left them in the lock and walked away. I'll also miss somebody to help me get myself back into my room when I've locked myself out. So. Go forth, my friend, on this new journey. Thank you for all the years you've given to Whitehall, to the students, the families, and the teachers. Go forth and enjoy this new chapter of your life. You truly deserve it. Hugs. Sharon, I just want to congratulate you on your retirement. I want to say thank you for being such an incredible teacher who always fought for her students, who was always there for her teammates, you were the person I could come to, especially early in the morning. And you were there for words of wisdom. You were there just to listen to me. And you always had a handful of chocolate to make everything a little bit better. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being such an incredible teacher and such an incredible teammate. And I just want to wish you well. And I hope that we get to see you sooner than later. Happy retirement, Sharon. What a gift you've been to the children of Whitehall and especially to Beechwood. You've been such a mentor to so many of us, including myself. I've learned so much from working with you and I just thank you for everything that you've done to make this place so special. We're gonna miss you so much, but we know you won't be far. Enjoy your retirement, you deserve it. Congratulations. Hi, Sharon. You know, I work really hard to remember to call you Sharon and not Tessie. <laughs> oh, that's such a fun memory for me because I am so used to calling people by their last names. I don't even think about it. And then that day you told me I don't like to be called Tessie. I remembered it. So <laughs> I work really hard to call you Sharon. Um, man, what do I say? We're so going to miss you. We're so excited for you. This retirement is so well deserving after just decades and decades of service that you've put in, but we're so going to miss you. We're really going to feel that loss next year. Um, I'm going to miss your smile. And every time I walk into your classroom, the absolute calm and warm and welcoming nature that you had in there. You were such an easygoing and effective teacher and you are going to be missed. I want you to continue recuperating. 
um, get that ankle better and have a wonderful, happy, healthy, safe summer. And we all look forward to seeing you in the fall. Come back and visit us. Don't be a stranger. Bye. Hey, Sharon, your countdown is over. Yay. I'm so sad that I didn't get to give you a hug to say goodbye. Um, congratulations, Educator of the Year. Fantastic. You deserve it. Um, I wish you all the best. And I hope, I hope one day we get to see you again and you come back and give us a hug. Um, enjoy your retirement to the fullest. You deserve it. Um, miss you very much. It was a blessing being your neighbor. And thank you for your listening ears and your advice. Um, I wish you all the best. Bye. Sharon, I am going to miss you. You, my friend, are like a warm cup of tea any day of the week. I love how much passion you have in your teaching, and I'm going to miss all of the wonderful things hanging outside your door that your students made. Have fun and enjoy all of your free time. Hi, Sharon. I can't believe this day is finally here. I'm so excited for you, but I'm not sure that I know how to teach without you because you've been such an amazing teammate and friend over the last few years. And so much so that I couldn't pick just one memory, so I let the boys pick. Boys, what's your favorite memory of Sharon? Donut! 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 We love you. Hi, Sharon. Hello. The first time that we met you, Jen was six years old. Mm -hmm. And you were Miss Hook. Uh-huh. And you were starting first grade at Beechwood Elementary. <laughs> That's been just a few years ago. Jen was in one of your very first classes. We have great memories of that year and the years since then. And I'm proud not only to call you a coworker, but a friend. You have had a, quite an impact on a lot of students, Jen one of them, and over the years, many, many families have been impacted by your great teaching and your love of kids. Thank you for all you've given to our kids. I wish you the best in your retirement and I will miss you. Good luck. We love you.